Can you imagine Sichuan cuisine without chili peppers? Do you know that the dietary habits of Sichuan people today are actually related to the Andean region, where the Inca civilization once ruled? In the 16th century, chili peppers, corn, and potatoes native to the Andean region were brought to China through the ocean-going voyages of explorers such as Columbus and then completely captured the taste buds of the people from southwest China. <laughs> Since then, Sichuan people and Andean people have shared a love for these gifts of nature. However, this shared love for all things spicy is only one small example of the various wonderful similarities between the ancient civilizations of the two regions. The ancient Shu civilization and Inca civilization after crossing time and space still have many more exchanges that can be made. In ancient myths and legends, the first king of the ancient Shu kingdom, Chan Tong, led his people from high mountains to the expansive Chengdu plain, creating the resplendent ancient Shu civilization, and leaving behind historical relics including the gold scepter to represent his power. In Inca legends, the ancestors of the Inca people also came from stone caves. They used their gold scepters to find habitable land, and eventually built a magnificent capital city from giant stones in Cusco. The Inca people believed themselves to be the descendants of the sun. In order to get closer to the sun, they selected to build their cities atop high mountains and establish numerous sun temples as well. The ancient Shu people, who were greatly affected by natural disasters such as floods, believed that the sun could help them overcome extreme natural conditions. The worship of the sun is a common belief shared by both the ancient Shu and Inca people. Since the sun always appears golden, gold was naturally favored by people from both civilizations. Coincidentally, both the Inca and ancient Shu kingdoms utilized gold to make masks, expressing some kind of noble belief in their civilizations. What you see now is a gold mask from the Saiken culture in Peru, facing a gold mask unearthed from the Jingsha site across the sky. The difference is that the gold mask from the Saiken culture is a burial object, while the gold mask from the ancient Shu was usually used for worship. Nowadays, we can only recall the past splendor of the kingdom of gold from the extremely few gold products that have survived from icon times. The ancient Shu and Inca are far apart. Looking back suddenly, we realize that besides the huge differences that can be easily observed, there are so many similarities in the details of the lives of the people in the two regions. This may be the charm showcased by pluralistic civilization. <laughs>